okay Boma Hawks it's uh, an abbreviation of my form, my first name and my last name my real name is Mbonisi Maonondo so I decided to go with the stage name Boma Hawks I'm a presenter I'm an actress I'm an MC and I'm studying architecture at the Bulawayo Polytechnic I went to, I did my primary education at Codlin from grade one to four, and then I went to a boarding school, Sacred Heart, where we had beans on Friday. <laughs> and um, I have so many memories from Sacred Heart, Eskwadini, and then I went to Minda. I think already there, that is where my passion for art really was brewed and, and fueled. And I went to Evelyn High School, and then after that, I. Uh, I think I finished school at that time when the economic uh, situation was upside down in Zim and I was forced to go to SA. I already knew what I wanted to do after my A level so I tried to get myself into these uh, acting classes, I tried to study film, I tried to enroll myself at a film school called Big Fish uh, of which I, I did a bit of filmmaking until I couldn't afford the fees and I was forced to come back home and I think things happen for a reason that is why I'm here and hopefully as time goes on I really wish to to get back to to completing my film studies and and maybe journalism as well I have no idea what a socialite is what were um, I, I, I like to put it as a social entrepreneur because you get to these events where, where you attend maybe like a festival or something and then it's all about networking and business and getting to know what other people are doing and then getting to do a business with them. So I, I think social entrepreneur is more like it. I'm not in a relationship at the moment. I am just doing me. It's just all more me, myself and I. Okay, I'm not in a relationship because I think I'm, I'm, I'm busy, stuck up with whatever it is that I do. I'm, I'm studying, um, there's this, there's that, there's my music. So really, I think that's what I'm married to right now, my work. And I'm comfortable with it. <laughs> uh-uh. I'm very straight. <laughs> I'm very straight. But then, if I happen to meet someone, why not? I mean, I'm I'm, I'm good to go to be in the dating game. I think it it was hard at first because you're this you're a woman, you're a girl child, and being out at night, it was really hard for them to take it at first. But then now, because they understand what I do, because at the end of the day, it puts food on the table. So I guess they have no choice. But my, my, my parents are very supportive of the things that I do. Okay, it's not much really looking at our industry in Bolawayo, but I think uh, slowly, surely we're getting somewhere. If there's things like this, I mean like Kingsville TV that are happening in, in our city, I mean, big up. It's stuff like that, that we need to start pushing and, and get off our laurels and start creating opportunities for ourselves. I mean, when I, I, I my, my money comes from the emceeing gigs that I get, it was amazing because what, what was honoring and humbling for me is when they thought of Bulawayo, they thought of me, they thought of Kyomoti, so it means that maybe there is something positive that we are that we are doing. I don't know wherever it is in our work, maybe it's in our dressing, I don't know what it is, but I think it, it was a very humbling experience. Okay, I like that. There's this fashionista thing that I'm being attached to these days. I dress according to my personality. I'm a very highly creative person and I dress according to my personality. I'm, I'm creative, I'm loud, but still classy and I like to keep it elegant, simple and very original. And I think it's important that we celebrate our own local brands instead of celebrating um, European and just uh, European cultures. I think it's high time we also start appreciating things of our own. Locally, I am in love with Arakani. I think he's a very, Arakani, um, it, it means rebellious. He's a very bold, um, 
self expressive person. I, I love shadow buys do. There's a lot of people, but I also love to shop at Kotama. That's where I got this kente from, the one that I'm wearing. Kente, it's a Ghanaian fabric. It's hectic, man, because if you're a woman in this entertainment industry, the challenge is that you, you get to meet so many people, but at the end of the day, you need to be grounded and know who you are, why you are, where you are in terms of your work, your craft, or, or whatever it is that you do. I don't want to lie. It's hectic. And then there's uh, assumptions or stories that can come from people because one minute, if you do well for yourself, it is perceived that maybe you are sleeping with somebody else or nonsense like that. It's crazy, man. I'm a human being, as, uh, I'm, a, I'm a human being, and when you hear these things, it crushes you at times, but then, like I said, it's important to know who you are, why you're doing whatever it is that you do. Because if you let neg negative comments from people, because this one will come and say this, this one will come and say this, and if you let it crush you, I mean, that's the end, of it. it's how you take it. So I, I really don't listen to negative comments like that. Uh, yes of the year at Smart Fashion Week. It was amazing because I was up against very stylish, uh, talented, bold, feisty women that I respect. And there's lots more, really. So for that, it was also very humbling.